Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we have a couple of topics, but our main topic is to do with the Speed Force and Speed Force Lightning Colors in regards to Nora and Bart Allen. Also, we got some crossover stuff to talk about because there's been a few new teasers, but if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, my first main topic in today's video is in regards to Nora Allen's lightning colour, and also, obviously, to do with Bart Allen coming into the show. So, obviously this episode, well, the last episode, we had the return of Nora West Allen, we haven't seen her since season 5, so it was really great to see her back, but this time, she returned and wasn't alone, and so, it seems like it's confirmed that Bart and Nora aren't the Tornado Twins. This is because Jessica Parker Kennedy put a post out online where she referenced Jordan Fisher, aka Bart Allen, as baby bro. So it seems like they aren't going to be twins. That seems pretty much confirmed as right now. However, that's not to say they aren't going to be anything in the same vein as the Tornado Twins, because more likely than not, with them being similar ages, they are probably going to be like a superhero team up rather than like a twin team up, so they're just like a sibling team up essentially, so part of the Flash family. But anyway, so we're going to be talking about Nora's lightning, and yeah, the main big difference here is that she only has purple lightning. If you guys remember back to season 4 and season 5, Nora had purple and yellow lightning. This was never properly explained, however, people kind of theorized that it was a split between her parents' colors. Obviously, Barry's lightning is much more orange than yellow. However, you know, like Wally West, he had yellow lightning, so maybe it's like a premature version of Barry's lightning. Like, imagine, like, Wally is going to get, like, orange lightning at some point in the future, you could imagine. So now here, she only has purple lightning. So I think there is, like, two explanations to this. I think, number one, this is a crisis change, and it's not going to be referenced. Like, it's just a change in continuity to differentiate the two and have two distinct different colors of lightning rather than like having Nora with purple and yellow lightning and then just having Bart with yellow like what would be the sense in that and also it would look the same like they want to differentiate these speedsters that's why you've got like Nora with purple lightning you got Bart with yellow and you got Barry with orange they're all gonna look different when they run and obviously Godspeed's got like whitish lightning and even though Jay Garrick is returning and he has similar lightning to Barry, he still looks very different with his suit and everything. And obviously the only big similarity between all the speedsters is going to be speedster Iris, who will have purple lightning like Nora Allen. However, it makes more sense because you would have like their colors together and then imagine like Barry and Bart running together. They would have a similar color, so it would be like a pretty cool team up if they were to pair them into different teams. So yeah, I think more likely than not, it's just a crisis change and they're just retconning what happened in the past. Also, it must be mentioned here, and I didn't reference this in my review for last Tuesday's episode, Nora is 100% different. Like, she doesn't seem that different in terms of personality. Obviously, she's going to be a bit more mature because she is the older sibling than Bart Allen, and Bart seems more like Nora in Season 5. Very excitable and a bit different and so it seems like Nora is 100% changed and the big reason is why she grew up with her dad in season 5 and season 4 she never met her dad that was the reason why she came back in the past to meet Barry so that is a huge change that she has gone through so this is 100% a new version of Nora so expect differences and this is just one way where I can explain to you guys why she might be changing lightning colors just because of crisis because she's a completely different version of the character okay number two reason about why nora's lightning is purple so the other reason could be the fact that nora got iris's lightning color because obviously it splits off between the two of them and like i said you have bart who inherits barry's lightning color or what it would be like in the past if barry wasn't that powerful so it would be yellow and that is the main explanation that they give that it is, you know, the splitting of the parents, and I think that makes, like, the most sense, really. That's what most of us are thinking about right now. And so, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Iris getting speedster powers again. Is it going to be like lots of people theorize because she is going to be pregnant? Is that what's going on, and that's why she has 
you know, speaks the powers once again, but then also in the future, her daughter has purple lightning just like she had back a couple of seasons ago. So what do you think about all of that? I think there is definitely a chance for both of these options. I think as of right now, I would probably go with the idea that she's a new version of the character, and basically it's a mix between Crisis and a mix between like the explanation of her parents split off the lightning colors between the two kids. But let's go ahead and move on to a couple of other main topics I have in this video. So I wanted to bring this up and I'm not actually 100% on this, however Stephen Amell just posted a post on Instagram that he's back in Vancouver. Now this can mean absolutely nothing, so take it with a huge grain of salt, but he is back in Vancouver, so what if the reason he's back is for the Flash's crossover episodes? Because we know at the start of season 8, the Flash is going to be having 5 episodes which are going to be crossovers with other characters from the different shows, right? And with Steven obviously being in Vancouver, I know he's from Canada, I know he normally lives there, but I believe he's from Toronto, or he's definitely from somewhere else in Canada. So what could be the reason for him being in Vancouver? Obviously there is a chance that he's just there on holiday. However, he has a very rich history with Vancouver, obviously shot there for such a long time. Could there be a proper reason behind him returning to the city? I would say possibly. And you know why I say possibly? It's because the Flash's crossover episodes are coming, and I believe the Flash is supposed to start shooting before the end of July for their first episode, because they've been on a break for like a month or so as of right now, and they are preparing to come back. And now would be around the time where people are probably going to start quarantining again when they're coming back to Vancouver. So could this be why he is back? It's very possible, maybe Arrow is going to be showing up in a Flash crossover episode, wouldn't that be amazing? Yes, maybe it's me being a bit too optimistic, but it does seem like a kind of big coincidence. Okay, so let's move on, but let's continue talking about the crossover episodes, because we have a question from John Mark Peterson on YouTube who asks, how likely do you think we will get a Diggle Green Lantern show in the near future? And I'm going to add on to this, how likely is it that Diggle's gonna show up in that crossover? So, obviously, Diggle just showed up in The Flash, and the way that he exited this episode was huge. He was having the headaches, and it was growing bigger and bigger, and it was being absolutely uncontrollable. And there was a couple of lines in the episode with someone talking inside of his head, and Cecile saying that his headaches felt infinite. It's definitely teasing something big, and I know he has two more appearances. He's going to be showing up on Superman Lois, and he's also going to be showing up on Supergirl. However, I don't think his story is going to be necessarily finished in those two episodes. We know that Superman Lois's appearance for him is going to be a little bit disconnected from the rest, so what happens if they are building up to something bigger, and it definitely seems like they are. So could it be that Diggle returns for one of the Flash's crossover episodes and maybe it somehow links to Arrow being potentially back? And so what do you guys think about all of that? I think that's interesting, but I definitely think they are setting up something big for Diggle. And obviously a crossover episode would be great, and definitely a great chance for them to explore this story. However, I don't know where else they're going to get the time to do that, so I think it's pretty damn good. And it's maybe a possibility that he shows up in the Flash's Season 8 crossover episodes. But in regards to Diggle having his own Green Lantern show, he may show up on the HBO Max Green Lantern show, which they are currently working on right now. However, I'm not entirely sure if he's going to ever have his own show. Obviously, that would be awesome. I would love that on the CW, but I don't know how likely it is as of right now. Okay, so let's move on to the last couple of things. We have a few other topics to go through. And so this is coming from Pedro on YouTube who asks, when do you think the accelerated man is returning to the Flash? And now I think this is a little bit of a new resurgence considering all the purple lightning coming back, considering that Speedster Iris is showing up, you've got Nora returning, so people are asking, when is the accelerated man going to come back? Is it possible that he is one of the special cameos in the episode? I'm going to say he's probably not going to show up this season. That's because Team Flash doesn't actually know him. They know of him, but they've never actually properly interacted with him. So I'm not sure how likely it is. Also, I believe Earth-19 was destroyed in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So obviously the version we will see of that character, if he ever returns, is probably going to be quite different. 
and maybe he's going to be from Earth Prime. That would be actually a very interesting twist. But as of right now, I don't have any definitive answers on this right now. But there's definitely a chance he shows up, you know, in the next couple of seasons. But that about does it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, remember guys, please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. It really helps out. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. You can check out my latest video by clicking on the top right corner of the screen. Also, go in the description below to download this new game called Darkfire Heroes. It would really help me out if you guys download it through my link, which I'm going to leave in the link in the description below. So, for now, go check that out and go watch my latest video, which I actually talk about this a little bit. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.